Are you struggling to find your unique artistic style? Are you feeling like your creativity has been stifled by trying to conform to certain aesthetics? I know I have been. I've been working with the goddess pictures and doing full-blown oil paintings and stuff, which has created constraints, and I haven't been able to really, truly, fully know my true potential as an artist. And what if, and what if I can be the first person in my family to actually thrive as an artist? What if I can have the potential in expressing myself authenticity and authentically through my artwork? So I have been embarking on this um, artistic journey for four years now. And <clears throat> to the contrary, I have not seen the type of success I was expecting in my heart. And as I've been unleashing my creative potential and embarking on my own journey and seeing um, my artistic evolution and where I've been going with videos and things and where I've wanted to go um, and just found that I just needed to buckle down on what I needed to learn, what I needed to create, what my possibilities were, and if I have been a seasoned artist or somebody that's just starting out, this video can help you unlock some of your creative potential in expressing yourself. Because as I said, what if you could be the first in your family to be a thriving artist and somebody that can create art inspiration, unlocking their potential, creativity, and the art process. So... Yesterday, I did all of the alcohol ink here, and today I'm going to work on her face, and I'm going to use um, the alcohol markers to draw on her detail. And this is actually a dark gray, it's not black. I call it a neutral gray. As an art artist, <clears throat> we become, we are our own self-critics, and we have a tendency to be incredibly critical about our work. <clears throat> and you get invited to certain events, like I got invited to a boyfriend out in London. But last year I did almost, I think it was eight shows by the time everything was said and done. I think I was in three in London, across America. I was in six, and then I two or three in Canada. So I have found that every time that they get you, even it's like forty-five dollars, not that big of a deal. But if you got three hundred people that are applying and they all, all of them are giving them forty-five dollars, they're doing a pretty lucrative business for themselves and you might not be getting any sales from it which is something that I've been experiencing but what can I change to do that to make it different how am I going to change my medium and my styles and techniques that really resonates with me creating the beautiful women but maybe not doing it all fully in oil but that gives me a stronger background to give me Techniques and things that I truly re resonates and creates a faster um, drawing and picture and creates a different type of confidence because you're not putting a hundred hours into something that people are 
nowadays um, with the art world and stuff is changing a little bit. So it's like signatures back when I was a youngster, which wasn't that long ago. <laughs> it was, you know, was more, um, I, I don't know what the right word be. Uh, <clears throat> not, our knowledge was different. It's kind of like the diamond industry. You know, you, um, I know a lot about diamonds and stuff. I know that the chocolate diamonds were, you know, in fact, you know, something that they gave us and told us that we were getting a good, good deal on those chocolate diamonds. They were, they're, they're not. So what's happened is the industry having an understanding of the signature and all of those things, they're still sort of there, but they're not near as much as what they had been. <clears throat> so because of all of the stuff that's out and all of the artwork that's out there and <clears throat> how, to, how to step out of into your zone, because, you know, when if you get your basics down, you know, we've got so many materials nowadays from alcohol ink to, you know, um, they have dyes now. They've got acrylic paint. You could do a lot of acrylic paint uh, in these designs and stuff like that. I'm, this is her headband here. And then she's got a beautiful flower over here and her beautiful earring. You can do those in types of different things. You could maybe do gold leaf on her ear earring. So, you know, <clears throat> because the art industry has changed so much over the last, I'm going to say 30, 40 years, but in the last 20, we have really grown into um, something that's pretty unique because you've got um, people that are spray painters. And I do some spray painting on my paintings. You've got some people that know how to do and I've been painting uh, and doing stuff on clothing 